Ah, what a beautiful sunrise in Minecraft. You know, if you sleep in, it's not often that you get to see a site like this. So in Minecraft, every once in a while, I recommend that you just stay up and just watch the sunrise. Stop what you're doing and just watch the beauty of the sunrise. And then as soon as it rises a little bit further, then you can begin the rest of your day. And that is exactly what I'm going to do. So hello everybody, what is up? My name is What Rhymes With Purple, and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play. In the last episode, we got my, my, my house built up a little bit more, and we got some windows. So in this episode, as promised, we're going to do some mining. So we're going to go not too far away from here, but I think we're going to go this way. So let's go. So I don't have that much food, so I'm probably not going to be mining for too long. But um, on the off chance that I do mine for quite some time, I will be... I don't know. I think I'm going to mine until I run out of food, basically. So I'm just going to like avoid sprinting because I need to make my food last for as long as possible. But at the same time, I do need to get to where I'm going quickly. So I think, I think I might as well just start in the desert and go down because I'm going to need a lot of sand for my, uh, for my windows anyway, so I might as well. So yeah, I am proud to say that I have definitely, I'm definitely going to start the Undertale episodes after Minecraft episode 10 and, uh, I will start a game after that, after, like once Undertale is completely done. Is that my kitty? Hi, kitty. Kitty just came back as soon as, soon as she heard me talking. So yeah. We got my kitty. So if you hear any rustling to your left, well, to my left, it's because you hear kitty. And her name is Artemis, in case you were wondering. You're probably not, but just, just for you animal lovers out there. I'm an animal lover, too. It's just... I don't know. Oh lord, that's right. I need to make an iron, not an iron shovel, a wood shovel real quick. I, if I had stone, I would totally use the stone, but I don't. Also, I do not have an axe right now, but that's okay. So, I'm going to use this to get... I'm just going to start mining down here. So, when you're mining down to go look for some iron yourself, you should always, and I repeat always, go in a stair formation like this. Because, never dig straight down because it is very bad luck if you do. And I've hit sandstone apparently. Hi kitty, come to say hi? Oh god, I just hope she doesn't move the mouse, because if she does, then that means my recording, I'm going to have to like actually look for the recording and stop it. Like, look for the stop, pause button. I hope that doesn't happen, but as long as she stays there, she should be fine. And everything else should be fine. It's not that I'm, like, opposed to looking for it, it's just, like, I'd rather not because that would make my video a little bit unnecessarily wrong. It's long. Is that diorite? Yep, diorite. Of course it is. And that's gravel. Yo, what? Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna. I actually found something a little sooner than I expected. Oh, I could have just gone down here. Whatever. All right, so I'm gonna continue going down this way, and as soon as I hit a wall, is when I'm going to start mining down again. Have I been here before? Oh my lord, I have. That's right, I have. Okay. Oh wait, can you not do it anymore? Okay, um, in previous versions of Minecraft, you used to be able to place torches at water sources, and that would cause the, the water sources to be destroyed. Of course, now if you want to do that, you have to use a bucket. Alright, so since I've reached the end of the hallway here, I'm going to just go dig straight down right here. And not straight down, though, like, incrementally down. So yeah. Oh! Again, found something that I wasn't expecting to find for a while. And that was a skeleton arrow. Oh my god. Yeah, fight, 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 fight. Meanwhile, I'm going to torch most of this lava. 
Okay. Okay, hang on. Time to partake in combat, uh, arrow combat myself. Oh? Oh, I thought you guys were gonna fight. Let's shoot the skeleton first. I honestly was not expecting to be partaking in this right now. In this arrow combat. This is honestly pretty cool. Alright, so let me just grab all the stuff that I need to over here. Like the experience and the stuff. And then I'm going to take this iron here, which I mined very close to and I didn't notice it. Boom. Boom. And I'm hoping that I'm going to find some diamonds later. It's probably not going to happen this episode, but if it does, then yay. Alright, so I'm going to walk carefully towards the lava and place this here. Perfect. Got cobblestone and the gravel all fell. But that's okay. Alright, so I'm just going to forget that that zombie's there for right now. Oh, what? What are you doing there? Oh, there's two of you. I did not know that. Alright, give me one second. I'm going to place some light here just so you guys can see. Because I know that it's kind of dark. Oh, and there's a creeper too? What is going on? Also, yes, I'm aware that my iron sword is kind of low. Oh, really? You're going to just destroy my torch like that? Are you serious? Can I get it back? Oh, man, he completely destroyed it. See, that's what, I'm, that's what I was talking about. A couple episodes ago, like you can lose anything if you die, or it's sometimes the creeper explosions at random. All right, so I know I saw iron earlier, not here, but this will work. So in order to find diamonds, I have to go below. I have to go around Y level of twelve. Anywhere twelve and under, you can find diamonds. Oh my god! Another skeleton over there. I'm sick of these idiots. Alright, so you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get out of here. And I'm gonna oh, that failed. I guess I'll just build a stair staircase a dirt staircase. A stair dirt case, obviously. Alright. Always crouch when you're looking up and mining because you never know what you could fall into, even if you're hundred percent sure. Alright. So now that I'm here, I'm going to dig down some more. Oh, I found gravel again. Oh, what is this? This is the, probably the weirdest cave system I've ever seen. So, yeah. Let's go this way. I get plenty of light in here. Also, I don't want the gravel to fall on my head, but I know that that's probably a good likelihood of happening. Okay, so now let's dig straight down here. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good about this, about this spot, because it just feels like, like nothing's gonna really go wrong here. I'm very prepared for what's to come. The only thing I'm not prepared for is an Enderman to be directly behind me. Which, if that were to happen, that would be very, very unfortunate. And my first pickaxe broke, but that's okay because I have one more stone pickaxe and plenty, and I've got two iron pickaxes. So, okay. Looks like that's good. I'm gonna replace that in just a second, but this is also good. Okay, get some of this coal. Also, I'm currently level 41, 42, approximately. So that means I'm going to have to descend about 30 more levels before I even come close to finding diamonds. And I'm also working on finding some more... So I'm working on finding some redstone, which, if you don't know what redstone is, then boy howdy, I have a treat for you. So you know how some people make, like, games within games but that are creative? Like, some people in Gary's Mod can make new games, uh, GTA, some people have made mods that are new games, 
just make new game modes entirely. Well, Minecraft is no diff no exception. You can you can do literally anything with redstone, and it's incredible. I think it's awesome, honestly. But like, I it's just too complicated for me to get the hang of, so I'm really not gonna get into it because I'm just I'm. I don't want to invest all the time that it takes to be a redstone engineer, like mumbo jumbo. Believe I, but I admire him. I admire him, his ability to use redstone, because it's just really mouthwatering. Not mouthwatering. Uh, jaw dropping, really. <laughs> mouthwatering, as in like mumbo jumbo is preparing an excellent Minecraft meal. No, it's legitimately cool how mumbo jumbo does it and he's like it's quite simple actually and even though it's really not a little more iron good oh it's a welcome sight oh i found gold i found natural gold which is honestly not that good but you know sometimes when i see gold i'm just like ooh, gold so this can't be mined with um, a stone pickaxe you have to use an iron pickaxe to mine gold same with diamonds and redstone and I think lapis lazuli. I'll get it to lapis if I find any. Oh, oh excuse me. That was very rude of me. Okay, was that diorite? No, that's just one ground. I hope there's no diorite there. <sighs> Alright. Also, sometimes if you mine gravel, you, and if you get, uh, oh, dang it. Alright, oh, there's my crafting table. I was kind of worried for a second there that I lost it. So I'm going to make a stone shovel this time. I suppose a wood and a stone shovel will do. Do I have, do I even have any room? Hang on, let me move that to that and this, to some of this to that. There we go. And... Oh my god, my, my sticks are acting sort of weird right now. Uh, let me just get everything else sorted out nicely. Okay, yeah, we'll go over wood, wood shovel, not stone shovel. So what was I saying again before I got into this? Oh yeah, if you mine gravel, occasionally you'll get a drop of flint, which is a necessary component for flint and steel if you want to light fires easily. But otherwise, if you want to use fire, then you have to... Like if you want to make fire, you'd have to use a uh, lava bucket over some uh, some grass or some wood or something. Which that's not a very safe method of using of making fire. So it's heavily recommended against. Okay, so we are nearing twelve. We're nearing the twelfth level in the y-axis. So hopefully I'll be able to find some diamonds if I just mine straight from here. But I'm going to go approximately, I'd say about two more blocks lower. Because you won't find diamonds exactly on level 12 most of the time. Sometimes you'll find more if you go a little bit lower. So I'm just going to mine the rest of this gravel. I'm, it's kind of unusual to see gravel this deep underground, but now I'm going to get to take care of all the rest of this gravel, and I just, alright, one second, let me get rid of this andesite, and get my shovel, get rid of this one cobblestone, and actually get rid of that one andesite, there we go, much better. I feel much happier. Okay. So what I do is I usually mine five straight ahead so that I know what I'm looking for. Alright, so real quick I'm just gonna get some more iron. I'm honestly kind of really crossing my fingers to find some diamonds because it would be really cool to have some diamond armor at this point. I mean, it is only episode 7, but still, it'd be really cool. Alright, so now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine directly this way for approximately 20 or 30 blocks. 5. 
so that I can find diamonds and branch out into a further path. Oh man, broke that pickaxe. But you know what? It's time to go into iron. Five. Okay, that's ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay, fifteen. Sixteen. Oh man. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. And twenty. Okay. So it looks like we're just gonna hit a gravel patch here, so I'm going to stop digging this way. And start digging this way. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. What do you know? There's some redstone right now. Oh, that's right. I can't carry it unless I get rid of something I don't need. Goodbye, diorite. <clears throat> Ain't nobody love you. Seriously, I do not know who likes who likes diorite. Like it's honestly one of the lamest things to have been added to Minecraft. Like seriously, even like some people are just like, oh, it's for decoration. What are you with that? Are you gonna decorate with that? I just want poo color in my in my establishment. Then go to get poo color. Don't get don't get white color like this. I'm literally gonna waste it by building the, by filling this hole. That's barely gonna be enough. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 15, 6, 17, 18, 19, 20. No, 15. Sorry, 15. Woof. Lost count for a second. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. 20. And this looks promising. So 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, also fun fact, if you tap redstone with a pickaxe or with something else, as if you're going to mine it, that will automatically light it up. This references to also how redstone can be made into torches. Make redstone torches, and thus activate <coughs> certain contraptions. So real quick, I'm just going to take a small drink break by opening up a nice can of ginger ale. Ugh, I love that taste of ginger ale. Alright, so my gut tells me that I should dig approximately 10 more blocks this way. So that's what I'm going to do. 3, 4, 5, and if, if I'm incorrect, then I'll just keep going straight. 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. Aw, oh, man. Whatever. Doesn't matter. You can't find diamonds all the time. Also, I reached a stack of uh, redstone quickly. But come on, give me redstone. There we go. More redstone for me. Alright, so now we're going to go straight. Also, that's a trick to go super fast. So, let's call that one, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four. Okay, five. One, two. Gosh, dang it. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Huh, okay. Now I just need to make more torches. Oh, gosh. Hang on a second. Oh, I hear lava. Typically, that's a good sign when you're looking for diamonds, but most times it ain't such a good sound. So let's see. Make torches. Approximately 16 of them. I'm going to eat a piece of chicken. And one, two, three, four, five. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excuse me. Okay, 16. 
20. Alright, so now let's take this iron. Yep, I hear more lava. Which, and this lava is exactly the reason why I dig five blocks away. Because if you find lava, then your reaction time is much greater with five blocks distance than just simply two or three. Alright, so this way. And let's go one more set of five, and if I don't find anything, I'm going to turn right into that cavern that I hear. Because I hear a spider and I hear lava, and that is a great sign when looking for diamonds. Or really any rare ores for that matter. So you know what? Now, you're going straight right. Until we reach the cavern. And again... Caverns and lava are the reason why I dig five away, because again, I don't want whatever is going to be coming at me to come at me so quickly. <clears throat> Sounds to me like I have to mine up a little bit. So mine up a little bit, I will do. Okay, and there we go. We're on my last iron pickaxe now. So I'd say as soon as it runs out, that's... At the point where I. Hmm, no. You know what? Hang on one second. First of all, where's the. Okay, that's just cobblestone. Okay. I put this here and make three, well, two stone pickaxes. And I'm going to drop a stack of cobblestone. Now I'm just going to drop the 15. And I'm going to make. One more stone pickaxe so that I can make room right here. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I'd say I'm just gonna keep going a little bit further and hopefully I will not be digging straight into a thing of lava. Good, I'm not. And the lava's right over here. And the spiders are right here and trying to kill me but I got him, so he did. So now, put a torch right here. Grab this iron here. And I'm going to go back down to approximately 12 so that I can find some diamonds. All right. Hmm. This doesn't look very promising. So I'm going to go this way. And some of it will burn into the lava, that's okay. Alright, gold. You don't want too much of it, but you don't want too little. You never know, you might need some gold to trade with some villagers. Or make some zombie pigmen happy, and zombie pigmen are in the nether. And that's the next biome, that's the next world that I'm probably going to go into. All right, so yeah, see, see, that's exactly why. That is exactly why I do this. So I'm going to just make myself a path of dirt so that I may cross over this bridge of lava. And I'm still looking for those sweet, sweet diamonds, but I am yet to find any. So is the struggle of a Minecrafter. Okay. So now five more. And boom. <sighs> Sometimes mining can be boring. But it's, again, what are you going to do? Alright, so more redstone. Also commonly, like, uh, sometimes if you see redstone, you're probably going to see diamonds as well. Because, um, redstone and diamonds have been known to appear commonly together. So if you see diamonds, expect to see redstone, and if you see 
redstone hope for some diamonds because that's probably what's going to happen but again it's only probable it's never guaranteed to happen all right so you know what i'm not going to keep mining straight this way hang on i'm just going to grab this redstone then i'm going to mine down a little bit more okay so just a little bit more using my same ladder strategy or stair strategy rather and then go down and dig straight this way okay so I'd say if I can't find anything in a couple minutes I'm just gonna end the episode here because the getting home process is going to take forever I will record it I will record my getting home just in case I die but I'm not expecting to upload that to YouTube unless I die so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna be careful to not die, but I'm just preparing my, I'm just gonna prepare myself and have footage just in case I explain how I die. So, yeah. <sighs> Come on. Where are the diamonds? Okay, and here we've hit bedrock, which is an unminable source which is very again it's very tough even though technically according to the Richter scale of diamonds not no, sorry that's that's for earthquakes not the Richter scale I'm talking about a, a different scale of hardness for gems diamonds are actually harder than bedrock so technically Minecraft is incorrect uh, excuse me but eh, doesn't matter because it's just a game that it's not meant to be taken too seriously when it comes to this kind of stuff. Alright, so, and boom, and that shatter is my second stone pickaxe, so I'm just gonna move it there. And there we go. So, let's mine a couple more this way. This is. Still, my search is still proving fruitless. Not cool, man. But what are you gonna do? Sometimes you ain't gonna do anything. All right, I'm gonna give it 15 more blocks, and if I can't find anything, I'm just gonna end the episode here. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And come on. Lucky one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <sighs> no diamonds. But whatever doesn't matter doesn't matter too much so anyway that is it guys thank you so much for watching this video um I will again record my getting home which shouldn't take too long um but if I die then it'll have the oh no I died in the title or something but do not expect that but if it happens just pray that I didn't lose everything so thank you guys so much for watching and I will continue rebuilding my house in the next episode. So see you guys then. Bye-bye.